Martin Luther King Jr. said, If you can't fly then run, if you can't run then walk, if you can't walk then crawl, but whatever you do you have to keep moving forward. What are your life examples of this? I rode my bike across the US. Most of it solo. In the middle of Missouri, I just, had enough. I stopped on some guy's lawn and just cried. He came out and asked me what was up and I explained how far I'd come, started in San Francisco, and that I was just done. He told me to ride into town, I think Springfield? Which was only 10 miles away and take a few days off and rest. Which is what I did, because hey, one more day wouldn't matter, and the worst that would happen is that I'd pack it in and go home. Well, a day of rest seemed to be exactly what I needed. I spent a whole day, or most of it, anyway, in blessed air conditioning, ate all the food, drank all the water, and was more or less ready to go again. I took a few more one-day breaks between Missouri and Williamsburg, Virginia which really helped me out. So yeah, one step back, two steps forward. Exercise. A couple months ago I was crawling, now I'm walking. Doubt I'll ever be flying, but at least I'm stronger than I was. After my mom died, I set a single goal to do something productive each day. For a while it was getting out of bed. Then it was brushing my hair. Then it was cooking something to eat. As each little thing graduated from my thing for the day to just have it, I would add a new thing. It took a while to be functional again. It really did feel like I was crawling when everyone else was running. When I was 22 I lost my leg due to a suicide attempt and becoming an amputee as a result of my own stupid actions was extremely difficult but I decided I was going to keep living and really see what I could do with the time and resources I have. I always thought I was too stupid and ugly to do anything with my life but once there wasn't much left to lose I got my beep together stopped being a victim and now I'm 25 going to school, clean and sober, no friends or girlfriend or family really but I'm content being alone with my thoughts and I think my prosthetic looks pretty badass. This is going to sound stupid to most who haven't been through it but my ex-husband of 17 years cheated on me with my best friend. It's all so cliché. We had two preteen boys that he didn't want anything to do with. Somehow I kicked him out of the house. Didn't accept his fake apologies. And then watched my run turn into a walk, then a crawl. I dragged us through every day. It happened the last two weeks of school and I still went to their end of the year award programs and smiled even though neighbors were whispering and I hosted birthday parties minus a parent and I taught one to drive. I am not completely sure how I was strong enough but I brought us all forward in those dark days. I wasn't going to let this affect them. And now, even with their dad living three miles away with his new family and acting like they don't exist, I crawl, with them on my back. Edit, I really appreciate all the kindness. It's comforting to hear the positive thoughts as it's often so isolating. I can't believe I received so many comments. I plan to read and respond to all. Oh and the awards. Wow. Never got one of those before. My career. I feel like I'm flying now but holy smokes did I start off as a slow crawl though. Edit, I work at an IT company for everyone asking. My entire life. I have some unnamed inflammation issue. I wake up every at a 4 8 tenths pain level. I've never not been in pain. Been suicidal from it before. But beep I get up. I go to work. Being gluten slash dairy free helps a lot but sheesh. Some days I shower laying down. Lots of days I don't even have the energy to play video games after work. Not sure if it's spite or what that's keeping me going. But I'm still here, and I'm still going to live my life. Also, invisible disabilities suck. Edit, yes I've tried keto slash carnivore Peterson diets, if it's more than two years old, I've tried it. Might as well ask if I've tried not being poor as well as those things are expensive. I get that you want to help, please accept that asking if I've tried fad diet doesn't help. Edit too. Beep off. With the you should try X and have you tried Y? Like everyone else who has something like this. The answer is yes. Yes I've tried it. Out of 200 plus comments slash messages I've had one unique slash new suggestion. And after the most basic of Google searches, that one was definitely not the answer. Living TBH. My parents never believed, and still don't, that depression is a real thing, so they never got me help when I was younger. I'm 30 now and still crawling on. My wife died June 2015, 
I lost my job the same moment she passed because I was her in-home caretaker for three years because she was in a persistent vegetative state, I got addicted to methamphetamines again after 22 years of sobriety, my service dog of 10 years died, I survived an attempted murder from two people with rebar and wound up with brain damage and a broken neck, I got evicted because I couldn't afford any more to live in our townhome, I walked away from 30 years of memories because I had nowhere to store anything, I spent two and a half years homeless living on the streets and in shelters, and the majority of everything that happens to me happened in six months. I finally got on social security for schizoaffective disorder that I got from using drugs after my wife died, and I finally got a home again back in September. The point is I got through it all because I kept moving forward. This is extremely minor, but I completed a 5k. I'm not a runner. In fact I hate running. I have short legs and small feet. I'm slow and overweight. I did train, albeit not much. I started the race by running until I was out of breath one half mile in. Then it was intermittent walking and running until the end. I was the second to last person to finish, but I didn't care. It was one of the best highs I've ever had. It felt good to accomplish something I always told myself I would do someday, but never worked up the courage to try. I was proud of myself. A while back I was trying to make an app, learning from scratch it was hard to find time around work, friends, girlfriend etc but I had the mantra of asterisk if I've only got 10 minutes then do 10 minutes asterisk. The actual 10 minutes didn't achieve much but it kept it in my mind and when I had a spare couple of hours, I was in the mindset to do that couple of hours and over the months my project gradually grew and grew. Eventually I got out of the habit and the app got less and less attention so it never got finished. I'm furloughed right now, maybe it's a good time to get crawling again. When I was quickly dipping into depression again about my relationship with my dad. It was beep it was slow to recover, it was painful but I didn't go back without going forward afterwards. Overcoming sex addiction, it caused the end of my relationship and all I can do is keep pushing forward. If I stop the momentum I will be stuck at square one in the pit of despair. I will do better every day from here on. When I'm feeling really down, or having a blood sugar episode where I can barely get of bed and walk far enough to the bathroom I start saying, Hello, my name is Anigo Montoya, you have killed my father. Prepare to die. My life was completely devastated by sexual violence in my teens. It took a while for it to sink in and for the effects to kick in. I had to drop out of university after nearly three years, completely depressed and I gained a ton of weight on medication. I literally went from being a conventionally attractive girl to someone who was very very overweight, although still in my opinion quite beautiful. I dropped out of university. I had a boyfriend but most of my friends disappeared. I had a breakdown and spent a night in a psych ward. I did everything I could do help myself after that. I got books on the internet that I knew could help me. I went to see a therapist. Twice a week, I got two buses and walked a long way to see the same therapist. I was huge from the meds and felt like such a failure but I just kept on going. I got a part-time job which really helped me with my emotion regulation. I saved up money to go and see my boyfriend. During the year I applied for new courses at university. However, in the ultimate act of humility I ended up going to continue the same degree at a much lower class university. I still had a good time. Their people didn't think much of me. I was overweight and still quite emotionally unstable. I was having symptoms from the trauma that affected me in a really bad public way. But I knew I was going somewhere. I kept my head down and ran. Through all the humiliation and some bullying, I did my degree, even though my concentration was so bad from the trauma that I had to work all night every night and had no social life whatsoever. I went to more therapy. And when it went south, I went to more. I finished that degree seemingly unable to live alone. However I found the subject I was truly passionate about and this motivated me to persevere. Instead of moving in back home, I proceeded to do two master's degrees. Dot. And by the way, I continued to have many public and humiliating symptoms and I nearly got kicked out of uni a couple of times cause they didn't like it and refused to understand but I kept on going. Five years after dropping out I have two MSCs. I just landed my first job after 132 applications. I continued to attend therapy throughout the two masters and I am doing do much better. I am still a bit curvy, but really, 
there are worse things in life, and it's kind of adorable. Edit. Getting over sexual trauma is one of the hardest things you can ever do, especially if it happened to you as a child. To have overcome this, while persevering with my studies to such a high degree, is to me to have continued moving forward. Second edit. Wow thank you for the awards everyone. The first thing that came to mind was getting sober from drugs and alcohol. This process describes perfectly what I went through. Excellent quote. Depression. Somehow, I keep right on and it's how I survive depression and suicidal ideation every year. I make up my own version of this while going through cancer. Semper Progredi, or Progredi Semper, I always forget what the order should be, roughly translates from Latin to English as, always moving forward. The idea is, no matter how tough things get, as long as you're making some sort of progress, you're moving in the right direction. Graduated high school in 01, tried the four years university thing. Was really depressed and didn't go to class much because of it. After the first semester dropped out and enlisted. Three years later I'm medically discharged. Worked multiple beep jobs while attending CC, find a somewhat decent job while nearing the completion of my associates, then the recession happens. Finish my associates while spending a year on unemployment. Unemployment runs out and I decide to hold off on trying to transfer to finish my four years degree. Get a job at gas station, month later promoted to assistant manager, eight mo later, I'm store manager. Year later leave for a contractor position at a bank doing ATM support. About a year later I'm hired on as an employee. 5.5 years later I'm in a new salaried role doing data analysis and finishing my degree. I was deep in depression for most of a year. No job, no friends, heartbroken. I had a roof over my head thanks to my parents, but nothing else besides. I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and no resources to pursue it if I did. Something like finishing college or traveling the world or pursuing my artistic dreams or having a loving relationship was completely beyond my grasp. But one day I messaged an acquaintance. Actually, an ex-girlfriend of a guy I knew. And I asked if she wanted to hang out. Eventually that became a relationship, we got married, I started publishing books, we lived in Europe for a while, etc. None of that was possible from the place I started in. But I dug myself out one small victory at a time. Life keeps changing. I'm divorced but in a much healthier and happier relationship, living far from where I'd ever been. I found another fulfilling career and lots of good friends. And I'll never fall into the place I was again because I have memory of my own success. Once you can recall confidence, you can always use that as the first step to anything else. I don't know if this has been said before in this post, but there's a phrase that I constantly think of, whenever I feel like I can't move forward, an arrow has to go back in order to move forward. Granted, I know this in Spanish and can't remember where I read it, but for whoever needs to read this, it's okay to step back and see where you're at in order to know what you want to aim at. Stay strong fellow Redditors. If you can't run, you walk, and if you can't walk, you crawl, and if you can't do that, you find someone to carry you. Malcolm Reynolds better quote for you. Couldn't become a vet, realized too late into my career that this was the career I wanted and instead I adopted a million cats, volunteer at the zoo and have recently applied to be a foster cat mom. Animals really give me joy. When my heavy wheelchair broke down right before my final architecture school assignment, I asked random strangers to take the freshly printed floor plans to the right classroom. Everyone was running to get their own stuff delivered in time, so I asked people to push me for 10 meters or so. The third guy pushed me all the way through, and the plans got delivered in time. Thank you, kind strangers. Higher education. If I can't get an A, get a B. If I can't finish a paper at least write three quarters of it really well. And if I feel like giving up just do one sentence at a time. So far it's worked. I have one semester left for my bachelor's then it's Harvard. Pulling myself out of a mental health situation, hearing voices. I had full-on conversations every waking moment for about a year then one day I woke up and said screw this. This isn't normal. Got serious about fixing it and I did it. I did six push-ups today. Wife recently passed away, dot and I know no matter how much I struggle, I need to keep moving forward. Depression. Some days you can't do anything, but you just gotta do baby steps. Those baby steps will add up and before you know it, you will be flying. 
losing weight and sticking to an exercise regimen. I was skating home and fell and scraped my legs and had to crawl home. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe for more quality content every day.